Hey, hey, so here is the second video. Well, not really a second video, but here's an all new video about interpreting graphs. Now, this seems kind of silly. Some people might be like, why are you doing this? Well, interpreting graphs is a little bit more complicated than we think, but it's really, really simple. Now, here we go. Yeah, I'm watching Parenthood. I'm obsessed. So, interpreting graphs, there are four main ideas, four things that we always need to look for, and that is if we have, if our graph is, is it focusing? I don't even know. Ah, focus. If our graph is positive or negative, if it's, I spelled increasing wrong, but we're just going to go with it. If it's increasing or decreasing, if there's an, any interceptions, and if there's a rev, relative minimum or a maximum. Now, some of these words you guys know about graphs. One of them is if there's an interception, now there is two types of interceptions. There is x-intercept and a y-intercept. This is where the function crosses the x-axis. And here's when it crosses the y. Very simple. So when, here is a mock-up of a graph that we're going to use. Now, here, if I want to look at the x-intercepts, it's where, here's my x-axis, it's where it's crossing the x-axis. So it, it is at 1, 2, 3, 4. It is crossing that x-axis four times. So there's four different x-intercepts. Now, if we had like a real graph with boxes and numbers, we would know the x-intercepts names. Well, the numbers. Now, our y-intercept, it is... I'm doing it in a box, so I'm sorry, guys. Right there, again, it is where the function is crossing the y-axis. Now, positive or negative. For the graph to be positive, it's above x-axis. And when it is negative, below x-axis. So if I look here, everything from my x-axis up, all of this, I'm just going to scribble. This is all positive. Well, this, I'm going to do circles. Sorry, I can't find my other markers. Is all negative. There we go. Now, this relative minimum or maximum, since we have arrows at the end of our graph, we don't know what's going to happen. It's basically saying it's going to continue, but we don't know what's going to happen Like if we're going to like a 1,000. So here, it's saying this is a maximum, but it's a relative. It's saying it is a maximum point, but we don't know what's happening here or here. Like this point could be like all the way up in the 1,000s. Now these guys are both relative minimums. Now again, they're relative minimums because, again, we don't know what's going to happen up here. It might like go all the way up and like shoot all the way back down, way down, down, down. That might be the main minimum. So these are relative because it is still a minimum, but we don't really know if it's like the real, real minimum. So far, are we good? I hope so. Now, I just want to clean up this graph for a bit. So let's erase. Now, increasing and decreasing, that could get a little complicated. Sorry, guys. Again, I can't find like a lot of my whiteboard stuff, so I'm just going to go with this flow. Now, I could get a little complicated, increasing and decreasing. And I am sorry if the graph is not exactly the same I'm trying my best. All right, it's pretty close. Now, increasing or decreasing. To figure increasing and decreasing, we're gonna read left to right, just like how we read normally. So we're gonna start here. We're going, now here's one, two, three. Remember these are our relative mins, and here's our max, relative maximum. Those are like our turning points to help us figure out our guidelines here to here, we're going down. So here is decreasing. Now if I look from here 
to one of the relative minimums to the relative maximum, we're going up, so we are increasing. And the way we notate this so we don't get all these big words, if we're increasing, we're going, we're adding, we're positive. And we're decreasing, we're subtracting, we're negative. Now I'm going from here to here. This is, we're decreasing, we're going down, so we're negative. And from our relative minimum all the way to our hour, we're increasing, that's a positive. So we have, so the relative minimums help us figure out if we're increasing right from here minimum to this maximum, we're increasing. And from this minimum to the arrow, we're positive. But from arrow to one of the minimums to the relative maximum to the other relative minimum, we are decreasing. We're going down the graph. Our slope is negative. Here our slope is positive, slope is negative, slope is positive. And that is all about that we need to know about interpreting graphs. So remember guys, this is a short little snippet of what we learned in class. We'll go through this more in class. Um, I'm not sure when we'll get to this. On Tuesday? On Friday. Yeah, Friday. All right, see you guys.